All right, so a real quick word on um, the Reigns for the first week, just to kind of put a perspective. Um, so they're pretty radically different, um, just in the realm of who these people are. Um, they have like pretty much one thing I could think in common. Um, in fact, even assigning them on the first week was something kind of haphazard. But in now thinking about it, it actually works uh, pretty well um a sense of of helping you start to think about um your research project and um this senior seminar as as a capstone class so um the two thinkers or writers you're you're looking at um uh, are um jewish glar and eileen cheng um and let me talk about jewish glar first and she's pictured here first um she is um, one of the great late 20th century political thinkers. Um, most of her writing was done as essays. So if you read one of her books, it's generally essays on particular uh, um, political thinkers like Hobbes and Montesquieu, um, figures like that. And um, what her big or her most famous contribution to political thought is um you know really kind of sensing um the cracks of um political liberalism um basically the tradition within um the united states uh system um you know it goes back to Locke and 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 uh kant and uh mill and figures like that uh rawls to some extent um so she looks at that tradition and tries to look at um basically to take its pulse um, at the tail end of the late 20th century when the Cold War is getting finished and, um, you know, one of the few writers within, you know, the quote unquote West to try to say like, well, maybe things aren't as, aren't going as well as we think, um, they are, um, in the sense of like, you know, um, when the nineties, 1990s rolled along, you had uh, books like Francis Fukuyama, who wrote that the end of history was here, communism was defeated, and um, democracy wins. Um, a lot of optimism, especially within the West, the democratic West. Um, and uh, Sklar obviously um, sympathized. Um, she's someone who um, earlier in her life, as you'll read in her writing, um, in that speech, um, as someone who flee, uh, was was trying to flee, her and her family were fleeing from um, Eastern, the Eastern Bloc, Eastern Communism, and even um, the rise of the Nazis um, later on. So she's, a, so she's someone who has um, a perspective of an outsider, um, even though her, her major contribution is into um, thinking about political liberalism. Um, so the writing of her you're reading is um, a very late speech she gave. And I just thought it was a really good example of somebody reflecting on their career, reflecting on their studies. Um, she is a woman, so is Chang. So both of them are women who are uh, writing in a time period where, um, you know, they're, they're transition figures. In other words, um, a time before them, you had very few women within um you know who it could be professional writers and kind of make a life out of it and it was the norm um so they're transition figures in that sense and in both cases write about you know being the the woman in the room or having to kind of defend themselves in the way they write um you'll definitely see that in chang's um essay um but but Schlar, um talks about um that a lot um well it was her experience of um, even though she never really like made a big deal out of feminism per se, from what I know, but um, but yeah, um, but you know, there, that's obviously a historical um, point to to note. Um, clearly, you'll see that in her like lecture. Um, so that's the reason I chose that. Um, I thought it's, we, you actually could read her again when we talk about um, late in the semester we talk about political heroes or historical heroes um we'll look at her uh, a short essay she did on Dietrich Bonhoeffer 
um, who's somebody I, I enjoyed a lot and you'll watch a documentary about him and we'll look at, at the issue of like faith in history and political heroism in history, what that look like, um, how that translate into, into um, examples for our faith and things like that. So um, the last person I want to talk about was Eileen Chang. Um, she is famous within, I would say, Asian American literature um, and maybe Asian literature. Um, in fact, she spent most of her life in China, Hong Kong, um, and then um, traveled with the U.S. Uh, after the um, takeover of, of China um, by um, the Maoists, so 1949 or so. So she, her heyday as a fiction writer was like the um, 19, late 30s, early um, and the 40s. So during World War II, um, she was also kind of a fashion icon um, and um, wrote, you know, stories. Um, one of the things about her essay I think is is fascinating is, is her attention to write about quote unquote normal life, normal people, what their expectations are. And, um, her essay is a really short essay and and you might be like well why am i reading this thing <laughs> it's, it's about fiction it's about trying to prepare fiction writers but i i think um one of the things that makes a good history writer um even a good you know writer about politics is being able to craft a story um i mean within the realm of of history and pol political science you're trying to craft a real story um, but I think the more authentically human it is, um, the ups and downs of being human, um, the better the story, and um, and 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 the utilization of things like memory. So memory is going to be one of the key phrases of the course: is how to be faithful to memory, how to how to um, navigate memory because it can be so elusive. And so um, she has some really like I think um, important comments on it in that short essay. Um, that's actually how I came around to getting to know her was just um, reading writers um, who were writing about history and memory. And then all of a sudden they kept quoting um, this particular essay. So these uh, these two essays um, by um, Jewish Glar and Eileen Chang, they're very much um, introductory essays to get your feet wet um, and just trying to think about like how to approach <laughs> your, uh, well, your time at Vanguard for starters, but also this big 15 page paper you're doing, this research project you're doing, and like exactly uh, what you're going to, um, you know, um, how are you gonna um, write about, it, how are you gonna approach it. So these first few weeks really are gonna be theoretical and just trying to like grasp um, the nature of, of this research project and then just have fun, you know, doing the research, doing the writing. Um, the next, uh, the following week. So, um, but all in all, enjoy the two essays. Um, and I will be looking forward to your post, uh, by Sunday night and responses. Um, just follow the rubric, follow the, the syllabus on that. Um, and you know, Monday, um, we're off, so, uh, we won't meet. Um, but by Wednesday morning, um, we'll, uh, we'll have a discussion um about uh what you all posted all right as we get ready for the the next week's post so uh kind of looking forward to it